Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for February 25th, 2024. The characters of the Watcher and the Modifiers are all stars, so with five colorless cards. Blue cards, blue power cards, blue cards now appear in rewards and shops, and lethality to start each combat with plus three strength, and all enemies start each combat with plus three strength. So a lot of people don't like lethality, although I know David does it, uh, does like it. Uh, you have Anti here with 1309, that's a really good score. Did I see another familiar name here? I thought I did. Yeah, Mike with 1227, Flignico with 1184, okay, that's a huge difference. So Anti did something, right? Let's see what the five copies of cards are. You started with Apotheosis, which is really tempting. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go for Popper, because I would need to remove the Apotheosis and Seeker Technique, which one will grab the other, right? Well, I guess if I play Apotheosis first, then this will grab anything else I want. All right, the Swift Strike is the only attack here, so I might have some trouble against the, um, what do you call it, Grumman Knob, so I might want to pick up some more attack cards. Uh, looking at the path there are two elite paths that merge here after that point i don't have any question mark rooms up until that point on the left i'll get one in the middle i'll get two on the right i'll also get no on the right i'll get three okay so i'll go on the right to get three question mark rooms early on mm -hmm. all right and then here should i grab the apotheosis that seems not really necessary having an eruption would be better actually i have 18 i can kill one of them right um, here, let me grab the Apotheosis, because then the Miracle gets upgraded and makes the Apotheosis effectively free. Uh, let's kill this one, see if the Deep Breath gives me... Ooh, Blind is interesting. And, uh, yeah, let's just fully defend here. Okay. I was probably overthinking that first turn. There's probably an easier way to do this. Alright. Got a Block Push, which is a great way to start. I don't think I need Mental Fortress at the moment. Between Streamline and Melter, Melter might be interesting. Streamline might be a little too expensive. Let's take the Melter. Remove Transform or Upgrade. Um, I think upgrading the Apotheosis might be tempting. I could transform a Strike, but yeah, I think I'll upgrade the Apotheosis first. Although now I don't really have much to do at rest sites, huh? I remove or Heal. I think I'll stick with Rare Cards. Yeah, let's leave this one. So I think I'll stick with the Apotheosis and uh, hope that that will help me perfect things. I don't think I can kill here, right? 18, even with the extra Strength, that's 30... Oh, never mind. Yeah, with the extra Strength. Uh, the extra Energy, I mean. This is enough to kill. Beautiful. All right, Claw, Beam Cell, Flying Sleeves. Let's take the Beam Cell for some vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Cultist, starting off with Apotheosis is great. Blind Strikes with Strike and Melter. Actually, yeah, with the extra strength, it doesn't take much to kill here. Especially once everything is upgraded. Got a Dex Potion. Equilibrium is interesting. So is Steam Barrier. I think I'll take the Equilibrium. Definitely don't want Barrage. Oh, right, because I got blue cards offered. I'm like, why is there a Barrage when I don't have any orbs? All right, definitely want to do Apotheosis. Actually, no, let me do Secret Technique first because I don't want it to stay in my deck. What is a skill I would like to grab? Probably Deep Breath, right? Yeah, let's grab the Deep Breath. All right. And then I'll do Apotheosis, Miracle, Eruption, Double Strike, and Deep Breath. All right, awesome. That was a turn one kill. Nice. Yeah, Pend Up, every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Establishment, Defragment, or Cutthroat Fate. Cutthroat Fate is a great attack card. I don't think I really needed Establishment in this deck. All right, I could take a bag of, bag of marbles. That's always nice. Probably going to go for Highlander, so I don't think I'll take a second beam cell. Yeah, not a huge fan of any of the cards, actually. So yeah, I think I'll take a bag of marbles at the Savage Combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Yeah, hopefully that will... Wait, was there something? I could afford the pressure points, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of pressure points. All right, here I got an Ambrosia potion. I think I'll take the Duplication potion over the, um, the Dex potion. Mm-hmm. And then War Paint up and pick up. I've got two random skills. All right. Got the Vigilance and the Blind Upgrade. Mm -hmm. This one might be a challenge. Again, starting off with Apotheosis, though. But that is not going to be enough. Let's do Apotheosis, then cut through Faith. Mm -hmm. Melter, Strike, Eruption. Is there a chance for me to kill if I grab the Eruption? This would be 36. That's not enough to kill this one. So I have to play all the attacks on this one. And then get really lucky next turn. I think I'll try to defend if I can. Let's get rid of everything here. Mm, this does not help. I have to beam cell, this will be 18. It's still not enough. If I enter Divinity, that'll be just a waste. Could just drink the block potion. Let's do it. Let's risk the block potion and hope I can somehow perfect. Mm -hmm. So I need to kill one of them next turn and defend against 12. Alright, actually, that works out great. So I can do Swift Strike. Is there a reason to play Deep Breath or should I wait? Next turn, I do have Vigilance that would allow me to be fully defended. So I don't think I'll play the Deep Breath... Instead, I'll just do Strike, Double Defend. Mm -hmm. Okay, so far so good. 
Right, so here I could also do equilibrium for full weakness. Um, yeah, let's do equilibrium and then do blind. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I have vigilance for this turn. Wow, I actually needed vigilance for this turn. Is there anything I need to grab with secret technique? Um, I guess I could grab another blind. Sure, let's grab, let's do vigilance, secret technique, another blind, and then do a strike. Okay. Mm hmm. All right, another nine. Uh, can I kill here? I think I can if I do beam cell, then cut through fate. And there's the eruption that I think should be enough to kill this one. With special with double damage. All right, awesome. Got bottle flame. Before I take that, let's take a regen potion, weave, bowling bash, or self repair. I don't think I need self repair. Weave might be interesting, and then bottle flame on Pikachu and attack starts come with this card in your hand. I think that should be the cut through fate, right? No, that should be the eruption. Yeah, because I the all the enemies are vulnerable and I have like, the extra strength. I think that eruption on turn one might be really useful. Yeah, basically I, I need to try to kill everything on turn one. So this would be enough to kill the back. Wait, no, um, it's only twenty six. Oh, that's not actually enough. Still, I think... Hang on, how do I do this? Let's do Eruption. Mm -hmm. This is 27, actually. Never mind. It is enough, and I can kill this one. Good. I have to remember it's 27, not 26. Blurry Blows, Rebound, or Follow-Up. I think I'll take the Follow-Up. Who's my final boss, by the way? Guardian. Oof. I do need to pick up some good defensive cards to be able to survive against the... Or to perfect the Guardian. Surviving should be no problem, but perfecting it might be. Uh, let's do Eruption here. Mm-hmm. Then I'll do a uh, weave to kill the backliner, then cut through fade to kill you. And then follow up. Unfortunately, I won't be able to. No, no mind. I will be able to play this. Awesome. All right, got a block potion, which I'll take over the regen potion because I don't need it. Uh, rebound, compile drive, wave the hand. Wave the hand is interesting. I don't have a lot of block, but it might be good, especially if I can get it upgraded. Mm -hmm. Got the looter here. Again, I think I'll try to kill you right, by doing eruption, double damage, weave for a kill, I guess. All right. Okay, conclude Empty Fist, talk to the end together with Wave the Hand is great. Now that's something I should upgrade first then. Alright, uh, I think here I might not be able to play the Eruption. Let me first grab the Apotheosis, play that, and then, so yeah, unfortunately this is not going to be enough, right? So that's only with double damage, 36. Uh, never mind. Well, that is enough, but then I'll still take a bunch of damage. So I think instead I'll just double defend here. Come. Okay. And then another 13. I do have to worry about the backliner sooner or later. Let's do cut through fade, get rid of the weave. Blind is fine. Then do follow up, weave, blind, and then I can kill with the melter. Actually, you know what? Uh, let me do miracle, strike, and vigilance. Just play everything here. Mm -hmm. Alright, not being attacked. Beam cell, talk to the hand. That's enough to kill. Good. Alright, flurry of blows, sunder, or core search. I just picked up a flurry of blows, right? No, I didn't. I don't think I need it, though. I don't switch stances often enough. I think Core Search is much better, especially if I'm abandoning Pomper. And first, I should upgrade that Eruption on turn 1. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure if I should play it against the Guardian. I do have double damage very soon. Let's do Eruption, then Cut Through Fate. Uh, there's a follow-up. Yeah, I should probably do follow-up and Core Search. Okay, double damage too. And then Core Search. That's a lot of damage for turn 1. Unfortunately, I do need to exit Wrath next turn. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. Okay, luckily I got the Vigilance. Um, how do I do this? Uh, the Talk to the End is not, not upgraded, right? So I, I definitely should do Vigilance first. Let's see if the Deep Breath gives me... I guess even Apotheosis is not going to help me, right? Yeah, I, I can't do the Talk to the End. It might be... What if I... No, I can't even duplicate it, right? Yeah, fine, I'll wait. It's okay. Hoping for the Equilibrium to show up. 22. So that is a problem. I do have Eruption, but then I can't exit Wrath. Um, anything I can duplicate, a basic strike, cut through fate is nice too. I could do Ambrosia, Eruption, Ambrosia. Can I? No, I would need to deal about 40 damage without without being in Wrath, and that seems difficult because I only have 20, not enough block. I think I'll I'll have to duplicate the Defend, then cut through fate and her, uh, hope I get a great defensive card. Even the Equilibrium is not going to be enough, right? Because it's only 20. So I have to drink the Block Potion 2 for 19. And then I think I'll do Defend for 24. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then, I guess, using all my good potions. And now I have 38 incoming. Secret Technique would give me the Apotheosis. Is that going to be... That's not going to be enough to kill, right? What if I grab Vigilance at 12? I need 32. Wave the hand. What about... Wait, hang on. I can do Blind for sure. 24. 
Still, the 12 is not enough. Um, so I only have 6 plus 10. I guess with Ambrosia it might be enough. Especially, wait. 6 plus 15 is 21. Triple that would be enough, I guess. Let's grab the Apotheosis. Then do Beam Cell. Yeah, I think I have to waste the Ambrosia Potion if I have a hope of perfecting this one. Next turn will still be rough. I, I Yeah, yeah, I have to. I have to try this. 58 damage. That is a lot of damage. All right. Actually, I only need 21 damage next turn. I do this. 18. Yeah, if I do Vigilance, then do Beam Cell and Strike. Phew. All right. Had to use all my potions, but was able to somehow perfect this one. Very happy with that. Omniscience, Creative AR, Amplify. I'll take the Omniscience, hoping that I can get a Wish soon. And then Snack Eye with Omniscience. It's really tempting. Hmm. It's very tempting. So, let's see. I have one, two, three, three zero cost cards. Four. Four zero cost cards. And then one, two, three more than zero cost cards. And I'm bound to get at more higher cards. So, the problem is I upgraded both the Apotheosis and the Eruption. If they weren't upgraded, then Snake Eye would be even better. Do I want to take Sacred Bark? I think I'll risk Snake Eye here at the start of your turn. Draw two additional cards, so I just come and confuse. It does add a little bit of randomness, but again, I'm thinking of all the high cost uh, cards that the blue and purple cards can give me, and I think it's worth it. All right, two lead paths. If I stick on the left, if I go far left, I'll get three question mark rooms after this point, although all per paths merge here, so that's not really fair. Middle gives me two extra question mark rooms. Right side gives me three extra question mark rooms. So, yeah, I'll go, well... Left side, but then stick on the right. Um, I will start off here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what the randomization... Okay, eruption is actually cheap. That's... Wait. Is there nothing? No, a few things are randomized here. Good. Especially the free apotheosis. That's great. Uh, I think I'll do eruption here. Yeah, let's do eruption follow-up. Swift strike. Oh, that was enough to kill. Didn't even notice. Third eye evaluate crescendo. Let's take the third eye. Crescendo would have been interesting, but let's take the third eye. Alright, this is going to be really annoying. Okay, luckily no one is attacking me. Not that it's going to save me much. Uh, let's do Apotheosis. Equilibrium. I think I'll do Eruption. Or Surge with double damage is almost enough to kill... Oh, no, I might already spend double damage. Fine. And then Strike. Okay, I killed one, and I should be able to easily kill the other. Because if I can't, I'll get attacked. Oh, oh wow. Alright. 100 incoming. I would be dead uh, if I couldn't help it. Uh, let's do follow-up. <laughs> that's that's insane. Um, follow-up, and then I do want to kill uh, this one. Uh, yes. And then, can I... I think I have to exit Wrath, right? So let's... Oh, I can't even afford it. I was going to Seeker Technique of Vigilance, but I can't even do that. Um, I don't have any multi-hits. Uh, wow. I am a little bit in trouble here. I don't want to take 50 damage, but I don't think I have a choice. Unless I get really like No, I... I guess I should grab at least something that allows the enemy to be weakened to only have 35 incoming instead of 50, but wow, I'm taking a lot of damage. All right. It was definitely a gamble. Um, let's double play Melcher. That should be enough to kill. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, claw stack or crush joints. I think I'll take the stack for a good block. Okay, Centurion and Mystic. Not being attacked on turn one. That's good. I will grab the Apotheosis to play that. And then um, I think I can do Talk to the Hand. And oh, right. That's it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. 13 incoming. Uh, let's do Core Search, Strike, and then probably just Equilibrium, right? Yep. That way I'm fully defended. Mm -hmm. And then another 17 stack is almost enough, right? Let's do Beam Cell, Cut Through Fate. Uh, that was actually enough to kill, thanks to double damage. I don't think I'll take the follow-up. I'd rather save it for next turn. All right. Mm -hmm. That way I can play it for free, hopefully. Okay, it's super expensive. Never mind playing it for free. Anything I can Omniscience? Mm, I can Omniscience the Eruption. That's not going to help, although then I can't... Yeah, let's do that. Let's Omniscience the Eruption. Mm-hmm. And then Weave should be enough to kill. Beautiful. All right, got a Skill Potion, Flying Sleeve, Small Lightning, or Pressure Points. This will stay in my hand, and if I draw it with a horrible cost, then I don't want to really keep it. So let's take the Ball Lightning instead. All right, going this way. We got a shop here. Good. Mind Plus is interesting. I don't have that many cards, but I might get some. So if I take Orange Pellets and play a Power, I could get rid of the debuff from Snake Eye. Might be interesting, just free card draw. 
And then I could like, battle him to ha and upgrade it to have an innate power. Lots of good options here. I don't think I'll do Blue Candle because I don't have any curses yet. Protect is definitely cheap and feasible. I am sort of leaning towards Mind Blast, though. Yeah, let's take the Mind Blast. And then I have to choose 73. Yeah, I think I can afford Orange Pellets. Whenever you play Power Attack and Skill in the same turn, remove all three debuffs. The problem is I don't have any powers at the moment, right? That seems a little useless. Yeah, let's skip that. Let's instead do Wallop and then Protect. And then I could afford the claw, but I don't want to take it. All right. Okay, so now I want to pick up as many cards as possible to make my blast worth it. All right. Wait, how much is this? 40. Especially with... Wait, do I want to do Apotheosis? I probably do. Let's do Apotheosis, Miracle, Eruption, then Mind Blast for 81. All right. I think I should be able to get Overkill with that, especially with double damage from Penna. Meteor Strike. Yes. This is why I want to take Sneko Eye, because Meteor Strike will be... I'll be able to play it, and it'll immediately give me energy back. Doesn't matter if I get, went left or right here, right? Yeah, that's the same thing. All right, there is an emissions. Um, I could do Mind Blast again. Can I trigger double damage? Double damage with it? No, but I, th I do think I'll double play the Meteor Strike with omniscience. Yeah, let's risk it. Uh, let's do, let's do Eruption, then omniscience. No, let's do Mind Blast first. Wait, seven, eight, nine. No, I can't trigger. Wait, can I trigger double damage with the Mind Blast? Because that would give me overkill and kill the backliner, but no, I don't think I have enough. So let's omniscience the Meteor Strike. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Minion down, and then I can kill here. All right, and then I have double damage for next turn. Got a question card, a future card rewards. have one additional card to choose from. That's, that was very useful yesterday. Yeah, Heat Sinks would be my first power, so I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, and Loop is not great either. Let's take the Hologram. Mm -hmm. And then here, I think I want to upgrade the Talk to the Hand for sure. Uh, do I want to upgrade Meteor Strike? We'll deal more damage. Um, I think talk... Um, hard, hard choice. Let's upgrade the talk to the end. I think that's more important to get upgraded first. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, as always, let's buy all the potions. A duplication potion is great. I don't think I need the others, although a flex potion might be better than the explosive potion. Mm -hmm. And here I got bottle lightning. I'm pick up choose a skill. So I just come with this card in your hand. Probably the uh, apotheosis or omniscient. I think... Actually, let's grab Secret Technique because then I can grab either Omniscience or the Apothe Apotheosis. And I'm glad I remember that because a few days ago that was something I missed. Yeah, let's grab the Secret Technique here. Okay. And I don't need to get it upgraded either because I probably don't. I probably am okay with it getting exhausted. 87. Yeah, that's a shame. See, if I was in Wrath, I would get overkill immediately. Um, is there a way for me? No, that's fine. All right, let's grab, let's grab the Apotheosis. Play that. And then do Might Blast. Actually, let's do Eruption Might Blast that kills. Didn't get me overkill though, but I'll get there sooner or later. Recursion Scraper, Cold Snap, or Sash Whip. Um, not a huge fan. Maybe the Cold Snap for a little bit of block. Scrape. Wait, uh, hang on. So at the start of turn, draw two additional start each combat confused. And confusion is the random the cost of cards is randomized, right? So I don't I'm not sure if it works with scrape, but still let's take it. Okay. Here I will get my first curse, I guess. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then here. I could get another curse, although it will give me a decay, which I wouldn't want. That would be a duplicate. Okay, good. I got card removal. Maybe I should just remove the curse, because it seems... I don't know. Do I have anything better to... Almost misclick there. Do I have anything better to remove? No, you know what? Yeah, let's... Oh, that seems silly, right? Because I could have gotten max HP instead of just grabbing a curse. No, let's hope that I can get curses. So let's remove a strike. Yeah. And then here I got the cultist. So hang on, confusion is whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. And then scrape was draw it four cards. Yeah, okay, so it does randomize the cost of cards. Good. All right, so forty-five is almost enough to kill. Let's do eruption first. Eruption, the weaker one. Then mind blast to kill the strongest one. Mm -hmm. I could have grabbed the apotheosis with secret technique, but then I might not have been able to play it. So let's just wait. Although I am in wrath, so it's a little dangerous. Right, I do have Vigilance to exit Wrath if I need to. I could Hologram the Mind Blast. It was not expensive, right? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let's Hologram the Mind Blast. Play that to kill you. And then I can do Beam Cell. Oh, that wasn't enough. I missed that. I thought that would be enough. All right. Um, let's do Beam Cell Strike. And then, uh, yeah, I guess I'll do Third Eye. 
uh, get rid of this because I just need an attack card to kill next turn. Yeah, wow, good. Uh, I, I totally missed that. I thought I would have been enough. Anything I need to munitions desperately? Not really. I think I can just kill here. Hmm. Got a block potion, which is probably better than the flex potion. And then glacier, pressure points, card reality, empty body. I think I'll take the glacier for a solid defensive card. All right, got these slavers here. Okay, so I can grab the apotheosis, but do not much else with it. Uh, this is 46, so that's not quite enough. Mm, how do I defend against 25? I could duplicate something. Nothing good to duplicate either, though. Seeker technique. It has to be apotheosis, right? What if I get wallop? What if I get omniscience? And then double play something like wallop? That might work. Something else I can do. Meteor strike I won't be able to play, right? Because this doesn't draw a card. It just grabs a card. So... Yeah, I think... I think I... If I grab omniscience, I won't have any energy left. So Wallop will be twi played twice. It will deal 9 with vulnerability, 13 damage twice, which is 26 block. And then I somehow still have to kill the backlander, which seems unlikely if I don't have any extra energy. Let me see if the skill potion gives me something amazing. Crescendo with Wallop, but then I won't be able to exit Wrath unless I grab unless I grab the Vigilance, but that seems iffy too. The Sea of Reality might be nice. It's not that much block though. It might be... Well, it's only 4 block. I still need to defend against 25. I only have 1 energy left, right? 2, maybe. This will be... Yeah, not enough. I do have a block potion, too. Fine. I think I'll take the Deceive Reality. Then grab the Apotheosis. Play that to upgrade everything. Then do Mind Blast. 45. Kill with the Core Surge. Okay. Then do... Deceive reality. Seven. And this would be uh wait, 19. I need 25. So I need to duplicate it or drink the block push. And I think I'd rather duplicate the safety here. Okay. And I hope using two potions was worth it if I can perfect this one. There's a wallop for 30 thanks to the um the pennip. I mean that would be enough. Yeah, let's do wallop. And then um, might as well do blind for weakness next turn. Okay. All right, another seven. Could hologram something that's just super expensive. Yeah, not lucky with the attack with the um, randomization here. Let's do talk to the hand and deep breath. Oh wow. Okay. So this is eight. I need to kill this one, which I could do with a strike. So if I do miracle, then strike and defend. Okay. Still have to deal fifty-seven damage to this one. Although I do have the protect, that should help. Yeah, so I think I'll just do strike. Um, stack is enough, right? Yeah, let's do ball lightning and stack. Keep the protect for a turn where I need it. Mm -hmm. And then there's omniscience and meteor strike. I think I can just play meteor strike. And that's enough to kill. All right. Phew, perfect this one. Had to use a bunch of potions. So we got mob bank. One of you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Shandu Vice Condition, Capacitor, Deus Machina. This retains, but it might be useful, and I definitely more useful than the rest of the cards. Next upgrade should be, I think, the Wallop. Or the Meteor Strike. Let's start with the Wallop first. That might help me. Defend. Might have helped me in the last fight. Okay, only one potion. I have to get a little lucky here. There's an expensive Apotheosis, but I think it's worth playing. Because then I can do Apotheosis, Miracle, Eruption, and Mind Blast. Really hope I can uh, do something to avoid... Taking 40, oh, 66 damage. That is a lot. I do have a free Vigilance. That's okay. Really got lucky with the randomization here. So this kills something. I can hologram the Meteor Strike too, right? So let's kill you first, then hologram the Meteor Strike. Okay. Meteor Strike. Um, yeah, probably the backliner, right? All right. And then I should have energy to play everything. Double damage Melter, sure. Beam Cell. Uh, no, I think I actually like the extra energy, so... Um, let's do Blind, alright, and then Vigilance. Mm -hmm. And then Equilibrium to be fully defended, alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, another Eruption, really risky, but possibly worth it. Let's do Eruption again. Then uh, Talk to the End is free. Meteor Strike again for 66. Actually, I think I can... I don't need much to kill here. Yeah, I think if I just duplicate any good attack, like the Core Search, that should be enough. Awesome. Turn two, turn three kill, I guess. Very happy with that. All for one, Bias Condition, Devotion, Hyper Beam, Bias Condition, or sorry, All for one with the Snake Eye might be really interesting. 
Happy Meal would work too, but I think I'll take the awful one. Mm -hmm. Definitely gonna go going to go with the curse key and energy at the start of your turn. Whenever you open a non boss chest, open a curse. So I already have one curse. This might give me well, this guarantees a second one. I just need three more. That might be tough, but possible, theoretically possible. Two lead paths there are, no multiple two leads. So if I go on the left, I'll get one, two, three, four, five, and then a late shop. If I go on the right and then turn left, I'll get one, two, uh, just four and the late shop. And if I stick on the right, I'll get one, two, early shop, three, four. Yeah, so I think the path with the most question mark rooms in the, is on the far left. Hmm. I've got an overkill, right? That's something I should try to do. I might actually be able to do it here. Um, let me grab... Do I want to grab Apotheosis? I would like to grab some defense. Um, hang on. Let's think. Let's do a free wave the hand. If you need to seek her technique. Yeah, let's grab the Vigilance, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, which is here. Then do that. Do Eruption. Mm -hmm. Then um, follow up. Okay. Then cut through fate. Get rid of the Decay. And then I can deal double damage, my plus 180. Yeah, that's that's more than double damage. Okay. Don't have to deal with spikers anymore. Backline is unlikely to attack, so I can take my time and actually just kill him this turn. Good. All right. Storm stack, consecrate, empty body. I already had a stack, right? I feel like I picked one up. I definitely saw some. Um, I'm not seeing it here, though. Yeah, right here. Okay, good. So this one is, not, is upgraded, but that's fine. I think now I'll take empty body to be able to exit Wrath if I need to. All right, got the Darklings here, and yes, I will do the Media Strike. Uh, let's grab Apotheosis again. Yeah, so I think I'll do Secret Technique, Apotheosis, play that. Then do Eruption, Mind Blast to kill either of those, okay. Oh, I should have played, yeah, I can still do Media Strike. And then Deep Breath, hoping to get another good attack, another Mind Blast, awesome. All right, self-repair, prostrate, hello world. So I'm not a huge fan. Maybe the hello world. See, if I had the uh, orange pellets, I would have had everything. This is an eight, and then I have a skill and a power, or and a, and a attack. Should I still do hello world? Who's my final boss? If it's the awake one, it is the awake one. Let's avoid a power then. Let's take the prostrate. Mm -hmm. Okay, here I can take curse number two. All right. And then I do have a shop at the end in case I get a duplicate curse. Oh, I can't lose the apotheosis. I don't really want to lose the Swift Strike, but I guess I have to. Let's lose it. Okay. And then here I definitely want to fight for a Rare Relic. No problems. Although both of these are attacking and the Might Plus is not very cheap. Um, I can kill one of them and uh, I do have the Empty Body, but I can't really use it. Let's target the Backliner with the Might Blast. Okay. And then do Defend. And um, I guess take a little bit of damage here. Ugh. All right. And then here I do have Vigilance. Let's do Deep Breath, see what I get. Should I do Scrape? Yeah, I think I should do Scrape. Okay, there's a Talk to the Hand, although can I kill here? Not quite. I could do Follow Up and then 20. That's 60. Yeah, that is enough to kill. Beautiful. And we got Lizard Tail. One of you die heal to 50% of your max HP instead, which is a good safety to have. I already have a Wave the End and Third Eye. Between Consecrate and Recursion, not a huge fan, but Consecrate is slightly better. And then here, let's upgrade Media Strike, I think, finally. Yeah, let's do that. Deals a little bit more damage. And, I mean, it's a must-play pretty much, right? Whenever I get it. All right, Giant Head. I do have Overkill. I don't think I can really get Combo, but, I mean, I'm going to try. Let's do Eruption Scrape. Mm -hmm. Probably should have considered grabbing the Apotheosis with the uh, Seeker Technique, huh? Yeah, not, for, not too late for that. Let's do Follow Up first. Then Secret Technique, Apotheosis. I think that upgrades the Mind Blast. Yeah, right. Beautiful. And then 139. Okay. Not a bad first turn. Mm -hmm. um, omniscience, what? Omniscience, the Meteor Strike, of course. Yeah, before I do that, anything else I need to do? Um, I think I can do Wave the Hand, Deep Breath, unless I draw the Meteor Strike now. I didn't. Good. Then Defend, and then Omniscience, the Meteor Strike. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I can do Defend, Consecrate, and a Strike for fun. And then I have Double Damage active for next turn, which hopefully should be enough to kill. And I sort of need to kill here. Uh, 45, Melter is 51. Let's do Melter. And then I can fully defend with the... Actually, I can kill with the Wallop. Good. Got Nunchaku every time. Play 10 attacks, get extra energy. Sweeping me, Weave, Steam Barrier, or Light Water. Already have this one between Steam Barrier, Sweep... I think Sweeping is the best of those for the extra card draw. 
Another upgrade. Um, hmm. I'm running out of things to upgrade. Protect is a good upgrade. Hologram so it doesn't exhaust. Let's grab the protect first. Hmm. All right. Here I grab clumsy as well as strawberry. I can pick up race for make sure by seven. Okay. All right. Got the transient. Yeah, I probably should do eruption and then meteor strike. Mm -hmm. And then just for fun. Actually, I have the energy, so let's grab the apotheosis. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, just for fun, let's play all of these. That way I can trigger the pendant hopefully one more time in this fight. Um, scrape is nice. Gives me a talk to the end. Very good. And then let's do... Actually, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if I need core search. Let's curate my next hand. Probably don't need these three okay yeah i guess i can do weave that way i'll have a uh, double damage next turn mm -hmm. 106 uh yeah actually surprisingly need a double damage here so let's do ball lightning and i'm fully defended do i want to grab the or play the equilibrium no let me see what the deep breath gives me all right uh i think i'll do course search let's get rid of the crescendo and course search okay yep I guess I could have played Equilibrium. I didn't think I really needed to. Let's do Defend, Eruption, Weave, then Cut Through Fate. Or should I do... No, I have to do Cut Through Fate. And that way I'm fully defended and then extra and a half to my Blast. Which is surprisingly not as much damage as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. so I need to deal a lot of damage here. Uh, let's do Free Fall Up, then Mind Blast. And then I can, yeah, do this and be fully defended. Good. Okay, how am I doing time-wise? 30 minutes, all right. I'm not playing too slowly, that's good. Especially if you can kill everything on turn one, that's great. Streamline, talk to the end, evaluate, weave. Already have these two between these two. Evaluate might be nice, but I think I'll take the streamline. Okay, and then going this way, got the nemesis. Have to be a little careful. Luckily, I'm not being attacked on turn one. Ooh, can I... I don't think... No, I can't deal double damage, right? If I do eruption, then ball lightning, then mind blast kills. Beautiful. Perfect this one, we got Grumman Horn, one one enemy dice, gain energy, and draw one card. And a cultist potion, which will be useful for the boss fight. And buffer might be really great as well. I might want to upgrade that as soon as I can. Okay, got one shop and then another shop after this, right? So I should leave a little bit gold left over. So if I take Mango, I'll get an extra 25 HP. It is 300 gold, but it might be worth it. Let's take it. I'm going to pick up Razor Max, should be by 14. And I think I should focus on cards to try to get to 50. Already have this one. Let's grab this and this. Mm, still need four more. Should I grab Storm? It seems so unnecessary. Violence is too expensive, and I did want to leave some gold left over. Let's take Storm, and then really hope I can buy three more cards in the next shop. Um, don't think I need any of the potions. All right, here I could get Curse number four, but yeah, that will be just Curse number four, and I needed five. So let's try to avoid the Curse if I can, although oof, these card costs are not ideal. Let's grab the Apotheosis to play it. Okay, it did make the Mind Blast cheaper. Wait, can I kill here again? I'll be 60, 120 something with the extra strength. I think it might be enough. Especially with extra energy, 126. No, not even close to enough. Is this enough? Yeah, this is enough. Beautiful. All right, we've got a Swift Push, which I don't think I'll take. Compile Driver, Rebound, Prostrate, Protect. already have this. Actually, I think I picked up a Prostrate, right? Yeah, I did. So it's just between these two. I guess Compile Driver is not that useful. Let's take the Rebound. Here I need to buy two more cards. All right, I see Leap and Fear No Evil. Yes, yes, let's do Leap. Sanctity might be even better. Wait, can I also afford card removal? So 75, 42, that's uh, 7, 77, right? Uh, sorry, 67. Okay, so I can I can do... F no, I need 60. Yeah, I, I'm one gold short, right? If I take Fear No Evil and a card removal that'll be 130 143 i have 142 so let's do bowling bash oh but i can't remove a card too if i want to keep the insignia and modifier so yeah all right fine in that case let's take fear no evil then actually should i yeah and i can afford a potion actually i'm happy with the potions i have i guess i could take a dex potion but yeah i want the weakness potion yeah no this is fine uh, i guess if i really want to i can also take a bowling bash no let's do sanctity it's not a bad card all right, and then last upgrade. Um, hmm. Buffer. Yeah, definitely the buffer. That way I can omniscience it and gain four buffer. That would be ideal. All right, uh, so 23 incoming. All right, starting off with the buffer. Unfortunately, not able to omniscience it. Um, definitely going to drink this. Uh, yeah, not happy with the randomization here. Uh, definitely going to play the buffer. 
And then do strike. And that is it. Can't do eruption here. Mm -hmm. A little worried. Because I only have one buffer left here. Another 24. There's the omniscience. And it's free. Wallop will be 16. With Wrath, it will be even more. 32. But then I'll also take more. Um, anything I need to duplicate? I'm tempted to duplicate the Apotheosis. Is there anything better to duplicate Meter Strike? Yeah, probably Meter Strike. Let's see what that hits. Actually, let's do Glacier first. Okay. Then do Omniscience. Wait, what if I do... What if I do Crescendo? And then Wallop will be 32. Then the Meter Strike would have to kill something. Do have to protect as well. Can I defend against 48? If I have to kill a minion with it. Um, this would be 32. I might be able to. And I still have the buffer. So that might be better. Let's do Crescendo. Then Omniscience. The Meteor Strike. Alright. One down. And second down. Beautiful. Alright. And now I can actually fully defend with the Wall of Right. Awesome. Alright. Great. And then I can also do Core Search and Strike. And generally just be happy. Okay. That was a nice turn. No, I'm still in Wrath. That might be a problem, especially if you have AD incoming. Luckily, I got Vigilance. That's a huge help. Um, I would like to do Wave the Hand. I'm a little worried, but yeah, let's do Wave the Hand Vigilance. Definitely Vigilance, right? All right, so that now it's 28 only, only in quotes. Um, so this would be... I think I have to play the Protect, right? Yeah, let's do Third Eye. Hologram would be nice. Probably get rid of the rest, though. Then do Protect... Actually, maybe I'll do Deep Breath, because then I, there is a chance I might draw the Protect again. Okay. Hmm. I didn't, but I might draw it later. Alright, Sanctity Hologram. I don't think I'll actually need to hologram anything in this case. Let's see what the Sanctity gives me. Hmm. Eruption. That's not good. I mean, I could do Protect again. Uh, is there a way for me, another way for me to get 12 block? This is 7. Uh, and do I have a 1 cost? No. No, fine. So let's let's just do the Protect then. And I guess that is it. Anything I need to hologram? Not really. Actually, I could hologram another protect. Yeah, let's do that. Because I would like to have a protect on hand. Because I feel like I might need it. Okay. Another 18. There's my plus. There's the apotheosis. There's a talk to the end. The talk to the end is really good. Do I want to play the apotheosis first? I do have the miracle. Yeah, let's do apotheosis. Anything I need to rebound? I could rebound the empty fist. Not really. Let's do talk to the hand. Mind blast. Okay. Then... Oh, I should have played Wave the Hand first. That was a mistake. Yeah, I definitely should have done that. That would apply lots of turns of... Lots of more turns of, of weakness. Okay. Alright, and then I have to play the Protect again, right? Alright, that Protect is really helping me so far. Mm -hmm. Alright, six turns of weakness. That's good. Stack is 21. Almost enough. Um, All for one. Will that give me back anything? I... You have an eruption at zero cost and an empty fist. Okay, that might be good. I think those are the only things that are at zero cost, all right? Let's do consecrate, then all for one. Okay. And then, yeah, let's do eruption, consecrate, strike. Can I deal double damage here? I think I can kill with double damage. Actually, I can kill with single damage too. So maybe I should keep double damage for next turn then. Uh, yeah, let's just do... Let's just do empty fist and wait... I mean, might as well do Vigilance, right? Being calm. Okay, let's see if I can defend next turn. 41 incoming, right? Uh, 44, right? Extra strength. I do have the um, the buffer, so that might help. Uh, let's start with Equilibrium. No, let's start with Cut Through Fate first. Secret taking out things necessary. Defend. Go for the ass might be better if it's cheap. Eh, all right, could have been cheaper, but that's fine. Okay, 33. Um... I have blind. Wait, can I defend against 33? No, right? Because I have 24. I have a block potion. Might be good to keep the buffer. No, I'd rather save the block potion. Yeah, so then let's do... Does it make sense to do equilibrium? Not really. Yeah, let's do streamline, blind, and weave. Okay. Alright, so losing the buffer here. I do have 10 strength. Really hoping I can kill soon. Time-wise, I'm still doing fine. As long as I can perfect this one, I'll be golden. Uh, definitely going to do Beam Cell. Follow up. Should I do Scrape first? Let's do Scrape first in case I get... I don't think there's much hope here, but... Let's do Scrape. Wait, Wallop is 22. That would be enough to be full of Defender, right? So let's do Scrape in case I am able to enter Wrath. I'm not. Then do Follow up. Melter. Wallop. Okay. 
And then do Vigilance for good measure. All right. Hmm. Another 16. There's an Eruption. Can I kill here? I do have double damage. Yes. Yeah, so if I do Eruption, that'll be 3, 1, 3. Yeah, that'll be enough with double damage, right? Beautiful. Awesome. All right. Perfect. Everything. I'm actually very happy with this run. I think the only thing I missed is combo, but that would have been very difficult to get. 1309. That's a great score, I think. So after six elites, I perfected all of them. Beyond perfect. Got overkill. Uh, as I mentioned, very difficult to get combo. I did get well fed by spending a lot of gold on that mango, uh, but I think that was also worth it. A Highlander was easy and significant. I didn't go for Popper, but I think without the rare cards, there's no chance. I mean, the buffer saved me in the last fight, right? There's no chance I would have been able to perfect the last fight without the buffer. And the Meteor Strike also helped me. Omniscience wasn't as useful as I hoped it would be so yeah but apotheosis was great as well i didn't get any money modifiers so yeah that not having a wish was a little annoying and i wouldn't be surprised if i got close although i didn't get really any events that would have given me extra gold uh Insigibidian just barely got that wait why did i end with 50 on oh because i bought two cards at the end yeah no very happy with the score i think that should give me a pretty good score 1309 i can't really think of a way to improve right yeah as i suspected i'm actually tied with anti with 1309 um yeah i think the only way to get a higher score is to somehow somehow perfect without rare cards but i think that's pretty much impossible and actually that also explains why there's no one with uh, 1359 which would have been the score with popper um another 15 or 25 points would be 1334 okay some one person has that so that seems maybe doable but i wouldn't be surprised if everybody above that is using glitches because it seems difficult to get um yeah let me know in comments what you did actually i see each you while i was playing also played and got 1263 which is not a bad score yeah let's review the score from yesterday first all right, so yesterday was an ironclad run with the shiny flight and binary modifiers. Binary actually gave you, or later on you got question cards, so binary wasn't as big of a problem as it usually is. And uh, yeah, a lot of people perfected everything, but I think it came down to a lot of small modifiers here and there to get a good score. So Pelts ended up with 1631, which is coincidentally the same score I would have been able to get if I had gotten for Popper. So I assume Pelts got Popper as well. Um, then you have PJM here with 1608, tied with, a, well, with one other person. So PJM perfected 10 of the 11 elites, one of the actually few people who wasn't able to perfect to perfect everything, missed the first elite. And actually, I was able to perfect it because I had a potion that allowed me to get bludgeon. That's the name of the card, to get back a bludgeon. Uh, but Ole pointed out that I would have been able to perfect without that potion because I had forgotten that I had just bought Mumfight to hand, and that would have allowed me to play all my powers to get the bludgeon to be free. That would have probably been easier to perfect. But anyway, so PJM got a great score. Theoretically, PJM mentioned another 50 points on top of his score was possible because he did miss the time modifier and he also missed uh, an elite, as I mentioned. So theoretically, 1658 would have been possible as well. Then you have Happy, or well, me, Happy up here, uh, with 1581 tied with Malzahn as well. So I perfected all the elites and all the bosses. I got two collector bonuses, overkill combo, Mr. Machine was 16, uh, 17 um, question mark rooms. Didn't get curses, and I'm pretty sure nobody saw curses. I only saw a total of three, and admittedly, there was I could have gotten a fourth one if I duplicated one. There was an event that allowed you to duplicate a card, and I completely missed the fact that if I had duplicated one, there was a small chance I might have been able to go for curses. Now, in retrospect, obviously, that was the right decision not to duplicate a curse because there's no way to get curses yesterday, but theoretically, going forward, I should do that, and Antia also pointed that out. That's something that I should try to do going forward because theoretically, it is possible to get that extra curse um, and get an extra 100 points with curses. Um, I also got I like shiny stuffed and uh, I only lost time. I think I was a few minutes short. Um, Olay pointed out, uh, ma made a bunch of good comments. Uh, one of the comments was that the last fight I should have played faster. I was very careful with powers because I didn't want to want to give the awakened one a lot of strength. But I was doing really well anyway. So I think if I played a little faster, I might have been able to kill. If I was, you know, not thinking so much about all the powers I was going to play. Um, and then uh, Ole also pointed out that I could have, or well, I guess he really wanted me to duplicate the offering, not the Feel No Pain. But I should point out that the, I was able to get one of my collector modes on Feel No Pain. Obviously, hard to say at that point, but I do think the Feel No Pain was the right decision. Um, and then, yeah, Anti, as I mentioned, also pointed out that if I had gotten a little luckier, I might have been able to get curses. Actually, the RNG was slightly different. Some people got the ne Necronomic Curse event, so theoretically, curses might have been possible. Who knows? Then you have Malzahn here with the same score. Malzahn also perfected everything, um, also got two collector bonuses. I'm pretty sure he had the same score as me, even missed the time modifier by seven seconds. I think I was only, I was like a minute short, uh, but yeah, very close to getting an extra 25 points there. And then a very impressive feat, Malzahn was able to finish the Act 3 boss with exactly zero cost cards left in the deck by, assume, I assume, using Fiendfire 
fire at the end. Um, yeah, very risky. I do remember runs where um, I think a long time ago when Shiny was sort of new, um, I definitely, there were times where I used the um, Fiend Fire and uh, was just left with no good cards left in my deck and the enemy wasn't quite dead. So that that was good times then. Um, but then, yeah, Malzahn mentioned slightly different RNG yesterday. So that's interesting. Then you have David here, two points below us with 1579. Uh, David perfect everything, got two collector bonuses as well. Overkill combo, only 16 uh, question mark rooms. So still got Mr. Machine, but um, had to sacrifice a regular fight for that. And then was able to play faster. Bottled the Corruption, interestingly. Um, I, I think yesterday bottled the Offering, which was very useful. And then with the Bottled Corruption, uh, David was able to kill everything on turn one, pretty much. Uh, except for the Awakened one, who he, he had to kill on turn two. Um, and then he also took Runic Dome, which is always a very risky thing to take. But I think David does it, and he does enjoy it. And yesterday, especially if he can kill everything on turn one, it might have been worth it. Then you have Mike here with 1556 tied with Steven. Steven actually has a very interesting theory about uh, maybe it is uh, the ties are uh, opened up by the account creation date. So Steven mentioned that his account is really old. So maybe it just like looks at sort of newer players to put them on top, which sort of makes sense. You, I guess you want newer players to feel like if they're you know on a tie that they're higher up on the score. Um, but yeah, I think I'll check it next time when we have um, when we have a certain future on when I'm sure a lot of people will be will have the same score uh, then I think it'll be very easy to check uh, whether that's the case because I don't think so far I, I can exclude the fact like I thought first it was the amount of gold that you have at the end of the run that's definitely not the case there's definitely cases uh, where or days where it's the other way around and um then I thought maybe it's like the number of regular fights or something else but yeah uh, so far no theories and Stevens might be the closest to the truth then you have Roland here with 1554 um each you got wait did I skip somebody um, oh yeah, anti 100th place with 1533. Yeah, nice. Uh, then you have Ichi here with 1523 missing top 100. Ichi also perfect everything. Went for Highlander. A few people actually went for Highlander and were able to get um, effectively more points because I only got, I think the most anybody was able to get was two collector bonuses. And um, yeah, although you might not get in skip the end because I just barely got it. So Highlander would at least give you 25 points. Um, and then Ichi also had drastically different RNG. Um, didn't get the event early that gave you a curse and gold. So wasn't able to afford the Mumfat hand in the shop, which also means that he had trouble getting combo. Um, did get Necronomic Curse, that event and the Relic. Um, so yeah, interesting to see that the RNG was drastically different there. Didn't get in Sig of Dien. Of course, with Highlander, it would have been very difficult. And also Mr. Mission, Mr. Mission Modifier. But was able to play fast enough to end up there. Then you have Panda and Yavos tied with 1506. And then Ameldan with 1505. And Goldberry with 1503. Uh, Goldberry perfected that 8 of the 11 leads, which is probably what caused them to drop a little down on the score. I was able to affect all the bosses, got Highlander, and missed Lightspeed by just one minute, which is a shame. Anyway, that's it for yesterday. Let me know in the comments what you did for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.